All right, folks, so here I am with a 48-volt uh, battery. <clears throat> it's a frame battery. And uh, also, I just redid the uh, TX60 uh, plug. And that's originally what I had in my other bike. <clears throat> but the problem is I'm jumping over to 72 volts. So we're going to do a comparison, which we really don't, but here it is. So you got your TX90 and TX60. Now, I suggest you'll go to TX90 once you go 72 volts because this, this is parallel connection as you can see, right? So what you got is, you got black to black, okay? And red to red, but this is coming this way. All right, but anyway, Everybody knows what parallel connection, parallel connection is. So, TX60, right? A little baby, good for RC, radio control cars, and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> not really for 72 volts. It is okay for 48 volts. It tops out at whatever, 50, 54.1, or some good stuff like that, right? But uh, <clears throat> the current that we're pushing out from these is about 30 amps. So it's pretty decent. Now, when you guys go to like, you know, 100 amps, so this gauge wire is 12. This gauge wire is 10. Huge difference. Pre-soldered, okay. Uh, Pre-tinted, I can say. And uh, let's say these guys are heavy duty guys, okay. Now here's a problem, right? Well, maybe not a problem, but here's a plan. These are T, TX90, also parallel connections. All right, here we go. Boom. Spread them out. You got parallel connection. Of course, you got this guy back over here, right? Now take this guy out. It's just an adapter. Okay. There you go. Now here's a problem, right? So I got a, a male over here, male over here, female over here. So if I was to go this way... I really can, so I can get this guy in, right? So, now, the easiest way would be to just change this guy to T TX90 and just have it that way, right? But I can also get an adapter like this for a couple of dollars and just call it a day. Now, here, here is idea. Listen up, okay? I'll do this guy, TX90, right? Shut up, watch. TX90, you can't get it wrong. See this guy? You can't get this wrong, right? <clears throat> so let's say this is a female rather than a male, right? This is a male. This is a male. This is a male. I go in, I can't I can put them in, right? But if I had a female over here, which I can order it, I can do pretty much parallel connections like this. <clears throat> now here's the thing. My other battery, which is 48 volt, 20 amps, does not have a female. also has a male. So there's a problem. I could change this guy to a uh, female. This is a female, right? So I can change this guy to a female. I call it a day. Now, if I was, if I had, for my controller, if I had a female, which is this guy, I will be able to do this. Get this guy in, right? So I got this guy connected. Get the second battery connected here. And have this go to the uh, controller, okay, which would pretty much, what we do is 20, 20 amp hour on the other battery at 48 volts, 13 amp hour at this battery, right, so that's 33 amp hour, parallel connected, 30 amps on a pool, current pool, and 30 amp hypothetically, let's say, on the other battery, which that's what it's supposed to be, you're looking at 60 amp, 48 volt power. That is totally doable. Now, here's the thing, right? So I've got all these wires. One, right? Two, with an adapter, right? So I got two wires with an adapter, right? Mm, and I'm gonna go with uh, what? I got two? All right, whatever. I got <clears throat> f 
four of these guys, right? So female, female. So literally, this is solo two. Female, female, right? And again, you can't screw this shit up. See, I'm trying to put this the wrong way. It's not working. So you can't screw this up, right? This is literally one cable, right? So this one goes to whatever battery. So usually a female goes to the battery, which is this one. Now, I screwed up on this guy because I put in male. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to use this battery really that much. Um, in the near future, I'm hoping to get a uh, mm, Blade 10 scooter, which goes about 55 miles an hour, which is about 80 kilometers an hour. So I'll get that dude, okay? So, I mean, that dude is going to be 60 volts. So this battery is pretty much useless. Um, I will probably use it on some home build shit, 20, 20, uh, uh, inch rim or whatever. That's just, you know, up, up in the front. Listen, guys, the reality is the, the, the future of elect electric, uh, transportation is just going forward. We are just behind so much. All right. So this is one, right? Shut up. Happy Mother's Day. Ah, by the way, guys, happy Mother's Day. That is correct. 2021. And... May, what's today? Oh boy, look at this fancy fucking watch. I can't tell shit. Anyway, so we got this guy. Oh, where's my other one? Oh, here it is. Right? So you got this guy. Plug it in. Remember, you can't fuck that up. Boom. You can't get it wrong. So that's one connection right over here. These guys will definitely be used for the 72 volt battery. I already told them to put TX90 from China, Alibaba. So that's what we're going to go with, right? So that's for the 72 volt battery. That's the plan. See, guys? That's the plan. Now, this is Paro. I have no clue why I got this shit. But now I remember. I remember, the uh, controller that is being um, located underneath the bike um, will most likely be moved to the uh, belly of the bike so what that is or the, what that's going to be is it is going to be not 48 but 72 and ah, it is going to be tx90 so originally my hope is to connect those two batteries parallel and have that 10 additional uh amp hour juice that i'm going for okay so that's going to be 50 amp hour and hopefully that 10 amp hour is going to be Panasonic for God knows how much Here we go. So that's that right now. Here we go with these guys TX 60 Like I said, these are good for 48 volts. That's one. That's two and that's three and that's four now guys Having more things is better than not having any things right. Let me get my date folks. By the way, definitely appreciate the, the comments. Lots of people had, lots of people had subscribed to the channel, which is cool. My other video actually reveals my build for my bike, which is epic. Okay, and um, I love that. Here we go. Originally, I had this guy. So that twenty amp hour, forty eight volt battery was connected with this, with this long wire, and that would come out from my side of the bike. And I would have the backpack that I have right now in the uh, stealth bike um, in my backpack. So this will give me additional juice. So 48 plus the other guy. Excellent wrench, right? So guys, look, I can't afford a battery for $2,000, but I can afford two different batteries, I guess. Whatever. Okay. So that was the conclusion. That was the result of that. Um, like I say... I might have to change this guy, okay, to a female. I do have him sitting around, so I just restarted this business here, and uh, I got to check the controller has, damn, I hope, I might have a female in that controller, or male, I don't know, I got to check, double check. I'm not there yet. It's been raining in New York, and it's been a pain in the ass, right? So, these guys... Are going for power connection at 72 volts. Put that on the side. These guys are going to 72 volt because TX90. 
we're not gonna mix with a mix or mess with a 48 volt. We're gonna mess with 48 volt and TX60. That's the original plan. And if I had FEMA over here, this would just plug in and this will plug into a controller and these two guys will plug in into a uh, battery. Now, the good thing is my other battery, my half, whatever it is, I will double check, but definitely do parallel connection and do a test on that. Why? Because the battery from China takes about 60 days to come in. Now you wonder, sorry guys, you wonder why I cough. I get a dry throat from these guys, even though they say it's not bad. But you know what, it is what it is. Moving forward, right, 48, 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery, expensive battery. Kind of sucks that it is so expensive, but, you know, it is what it is. But for now, this is what the plan is. All right, so TX60 versus TX90. Use the TX90 on uh, 72 volt. These these are, look at this guys, huge difference, okay? You don't want that 100 amp hour, I'm sorry, 100 amps current going through these little babies, okay? Definitely want to go TX90 or better, okay? Uh, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, beautiful thing. It's much stronger, wiggly, wobbly, all that bullshit. So that's good. Anyway, so that's the plan for the power oil connection. As you can see I got good, good uh, amount of, uh, and I got more. Now, you know, a, a, a smart guy would say, well, you know what, Thomas, why, why won't you do this by yourself, right? Why won't you do this wires by yourself? You know what, folks? Here how it works. This is how I work, okay? Somebody has to get paid and that somebody will be the person that will do this for me I have no problem of paying somebody to do this <clears throat> I could do it myself. I can solder it. I can get you know the butts and all that But why? Why be greedy and do it yourself? You know, this is this is seriously professionally done Okay, it is pre-soldered tinted and I love it. Somebody took their time and somebody's really a professional at it to get this done the right way. Now, when it comes to 84 volt battery, I ain't messing around. Especially when it comes to a battery that's $1,400. I ain't messing around. So I want to plug it in. Plug it in and forget it. Right? Um, so at one point, this is going to end up at a 72 volt battery. Again, I ordered TX90 connection for the battery. 50 days, 40 to 50 days to come in. Um, so this is this is the plan. This is the next plan. This is probably following a video. Two batteries connected parallel, not series. Double your your um, your voltage. We don't want 48 and 48. We want 48 at whatever amp hours we can get. Right in this case, my case is 33. Um, Hopefully now comment below and, and, and tell me if this thing has let's say 30 amps because that's exactly what it should have at 48 volt 13 amp hour if it has this has 30 amp hour right now here's a thing here's a thing I use this on my electric other electric first bill bike and I only bike and I only used it at 12 amps right draw and it was at 14 amps was shooting an error so and at 30 amps it was melting my wires so be careful now why was it doing that first of all the wires weren't done for um 30 amp uh draw so i guarantee you this will not take 30 amps this will take a short distance like this it should handle 100 amps not a problem right I'm not sure 150. It won't stay warm at 150, but this one would take 100 easily. This one would take the 30, and you'd be okay. So the wires originally were melting because the uh, 30 amp, and these weren't the wires that actually were connecting that. These wires weren't burning. It was the wires from the uh, 
in between the controllers. So that was, uh, God, which wire bar? One of the wires in the controller barred, okay? But it definitely was skinny wire, so it burned out. Um, so this guy at 12 amp hours was pretty cool. Um, here's a question. Let me go back to what I was saying. If this battery has 30 amps and the other battery has 30 amps, question is, does that make 60 amps of draw power or does it make 30 amps and 30 amps? Um, physically, my physics is supposed to be 30 and 30, which is 60 amps, okay? Um, and he's a, here is a theory that lots of people kind of like moved it around the community of uh, electric bikes is that if you take this battery, you put additional battery next to it and you run them together, and I said this one is this one is 13 amps, the other one's 20 amps. Is the BMS battery management system is is it going to discharge these batteries equally? Even though this battery is 13 and the other battery is 20, which is this battery that is 20 next to it, okay, collecting power, all, is it going to discharge evenly and equally to this battery, right? So is the computer going to take or controller going to take more uh, amps? Or, or more frequently, the juice the battery out of out of this battery, or is it going to take it the same amount? Let's say, for example, I'm taking thirty amps from twenty amp hour battery, and thirty amps from another thirteen amp hour battery. Now that's a question I want you to comment below because, you know, for us the bikers, the electric bikers, um, it is extremely important when you pair our batteries together. Lots of people will say. As long as you have the voltage cooling together, you should be okay with uh, both batteries. Now, here, here is my theory, right? Literally, if you think of the other way, it's actually impossible. Because if this is 13 amp, this is 20 amp, okay? When you charge it, lots of guys charge it together. When you charge the BM, BMS, BMS, yeah, battery management, battery management system, it gets confused, right? So it has to, you, you, you have, you have a connected and parallel connection, right? So this is your parallel connection. Let's take a quick look. Okay. All right. So this is your parallel connection, right? Let's say hypothetically there's another battery to it. That battery is 20, uh, 30 amps. This battery is 13 amps. You plug that into a controller. Now, hypothetically, let's say you take this battery and put it into a charger. Now, there's two batteries at a parallel connection, right? Now, does this battery that is 20 amp charge the same way as this 13 amp? Which physically would be impossible because the computer doesn't realize there's two batteries here. So what I suggest for this issue is connect this battery to a charger individually, this battery, and which is 13, and the 20 amp battery separately. So one charger here, one charger here. Therefore, <clears throat> The battery management system, BMS, will be able to distinguish which battery is charging. You put two batteries together, the BMS is getting confused. Charge this one individually, charge this, this one individually. And then at the end, what happens is they both charge equally, evenly, at 54.1 volts, whatever you have, right? Now, in this charging capacity, it is kind of different. There are gadgets that discharge the batteries equally, meaning it takes, it takes a little bit juice off here take juice off from here, from this battery, right? Um, and that's a guy in UK, so it's kind of hard to get that gadget which goes in between this connection, right? So now you have a uh, connection to this connection, you have an adapter that plugs in, and then you have another connection to the controller. And <clears throat> that, what it does, this, this, this controller here, what it does is evenly taking the juice out of each battery. Now, um, is that is that a theory or, or reality? I've never used it, so I can't vouch for that. Um, <clears throat> but saying this, I suggest. So here's a theory, right? If this is thirteen, this is twenty. Your controller and your speed, your controller and a computer on a bike is going to say all together what you have connected. So what you have connected, because the controller controls that, 
connection and the amp hours, right? So when you have connectors 13 and 20, your controller says 13 and 20. Therefore, your controller is going to take the juice that it needs from both batteries. Let's say it takes first from this battery, then it takes first second from the second battery. And that works perfectly, right? Or if you really want to make sure that everything's cool, legit, you make a switch in between and first you use this battery and then use this battery. Now, why I'm saying that, <clears throat> first use the battery that has low amp hour, okay, so you don't go too far out. And then use the second battery that has high amp hour, which is 10 versus 20. Well, I'm sorry, 13 versus 20. So when you have to come back wherever you're coming from, you know you have additional 10 amp hours and you can go further out, come back to the point of the destination. Now, let's say you've used this battery, you know, it's 13 and this is 20, right? You can say, okay, so I can take that 33 divide and a half and let's just say hypothetically is, let's say 16.5 amp hour. Now, that also depends if you're going up the hill, down the hill, all that good stuff, right? But if you divide it in a half, you can say, okay, so I have hypothetically, if I'm pedaling at the same rate and same grade of uh, 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 increase or, or, or wind, which is crap because you can never determine how far you can go with that. If you pedal with this battery while using this battery really, really, really a lot and hard, you'll get further out where the 20 amp battery could actually you know, not necessarily run out of juice, but it could be barely, barely minimum, right? So if you, let's say, go with this guy, and we're going to make this very simple, uh, um, <clears throat> pedal assist one, and it got you 20 miles, right? So you know that the, the 13 versus the 20 amp hour, if you pedal the same way, just forget about pedaling the same way, you do pass pedal assist one on this guy also right so this guy gave you 20 miles this one should give you 20 miles by taking 13 amp hour like this one so that means you still have a power left in this one which take you which will take you further out um <clears throat> so that's my idea you could do a switch where you first like i did with this guy right first i used this one and then i used this one now i also suggest a uh voltage monitor display so you can say so it doesn't sag up and down so you can say okay this one cuts off at um 42 volts right so last time i went out i measure it to a one block away from my house say this is going to work for me this far and it worked for me this far <clears throat> i didn't pedal didn't do anything i only pedal to start the bike move forward and then i moved further using using a regular motor and pure power the problem is with the brushless brushless uh, uh, um, motors it takes a lot of time or lots of energy and power to go from stop dead stop to moving motion go right so anywhere from zero through let's say six miles an hour so that's why they want you to pedal so you you kind of save your energy <clears throat> so with this one, you pedal to six miles an hour. Not necessarily has to be six; could be five, four, three, whatever. And then you engage the the, uh, the the throttle, the thumb throttle, right? Now, if you do the same thing with a second battery, you'd be totally fine, right? So this is thirteen amps, okay? And I got the second battery with this. So once I'm done with this battery, I take this battery and I do the same thing. All right. Anyway, so that's the long version of understanding batteries connecting parallel. Do I suggest connecting parallel? Hell yeah. I think the problem is that <clears throat> lots of sellers don't want you to know that you are able to connect two batteries together. Not necessarily do not um, charge them together, but charge them separately, discharge them separately. That would be much cooler. Um, when I say discharge them separately, I'm going to take that back, okay? Um, if you have it the way I want to do it in my, my bike, power connection, always stay together your computer your control is going to realize you don't have only 13 amps but you have the additional 20 okay so it's going to say okay you got 33 amps we're going to take that 33 amps and we're going to take you from point a to point b that far simple as that okay again so my biggest concern is for you guys is to charge it separately okay and use it together that's what it is 
all right so please i see a lot of guys interacting my my subscription went up i look guys i don't make any money for these videos i only do these videos because i want you to enjoy your hobby and that's all it is nothing to it i don't get paid for it i don't get commercials i don't get shit i only do it because i love the hobby and i want you to guys not waste your money and uh please invest in these guys okay have these handy have your plan plan everything and everything be totally fine um do your testing you know if you're cool and you get money and i know this guy in jersey he's on the youtube and you know he buys a 50 amp lg battery for you know 1600 hours look you got the money that's totally cool i don't so i spit out the money i spit out the uh Thirteen hundred dollars for forty amp hour, forty two, forty, uh, forty, forty amp hour, seventy two volt battery. That's hundred amps discharge. I got that. It's coming from China. Totally cool. I, 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 uh, I took it. I bought it. I jumped into it. Whatever. It is what it is. Right. A bike, a bike that, that does seventeen miles an hour and doesn't do shit for you. Doesn't climb any, any, any hills, anything like that. Is useless. Right. So why uh, experiment with a useless bike? Right. 48 is 48 volt is just to test it out right but 72 is the uh, main goal not 60 not 52 72 stay with 72 don't waste your time don't waste your money right originally secondly you're gonna put that additional battery into the frame and then you're gonna have your 50 whatever it is right lots of guys go with 20 lots of guys go with 30 35 few guys will go with 40 and uh, 50 right so we are the bigger guys I want to go all the way out really far to work and uh, because I'm far away from work. I'm, I'm literally 25 miles away from work. So it's, it's, and I got to take a ferry and, um, you know, I got to go through a couple of bars to get to my work. So I need a battery that is going to work. Anyway, so invest in these guys, um, invest in your battery, be smart about how you invest your battery and power connect them together. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Buy a good one battery that you want, which I bought Panasonic, right? LG, Panasonic, Samsung, they're all good. Uh, Panasonic is, you know, one of the good ones. And all the Chinese guys in Alibaba will say, you know, Panasonic is expensive. Okay, great. Let me get the Panasonic. Don't get the A-grade, you know, uh, China uh, cell because they amps on it and it's going to have an issue. But uh, you get the, you know, 72, whatever, 30 amp. And an additional 72 10 amp and you're gonna give get yourself 40 amp um and make sure you maintain it and do all that stuff again it's been 30 minutes i need to get the hell out of here because you guys don't want to listen to this bullshit uh other than that this is what the plan is and there's other plans coming out and when the bike is doing whatever mileage 50 miles an hour i'll shoot that video and you guys enjoy it more enjoy this video and uh subscribe uh click the like button thumbs up uh, share, you know, do what you got to do. All right, folks. So let's stay together. Let's, let's, let's exchange lots of information because this has to be helpful. If you connect your power batteries, you get 30 and 30, that's 60. You know how much you can do with 60? Now you just got to worry about the room, how much room you have in your bike. Until then, folks, I got to go. Later.